this is a sequence of observations in a process of closing large root crown shoots on this Fraxinus modesto. So in the case of this tree, we have one very large excision that was made years ago. Three individual root crown shoots were allowed to rise for several years. They in turn were then cut. Now we're allowing a new host of root crown shoots to rise up, stimulate circulation to this root crown area, and close these wounds up. As we excise these adventitious shoots at the base, we allow them to get about half the diameter of the former wound. So we're not ready to take this one yet. We're going to let it run a little bit longer because our wound is about three and a half inches in diameter. So we should let this come up to nearly two inches in diameter before we cut it. It's already a good one inch at the base. We have already removed a series of other root crown shoots as they've risen up. And right here is where I'd like to point out where we've excised about a two inch diameter root crown shoot and allowed two adventitious shoots to rise up, one on either side of the wound. And if you observe this wound, what you'll notice is the rapid advance of cambium callus rolling over the end grain of this wound. We've only treated this wound one time with our orange oil beeswax compound. We did treat the end grain and I can still feel that waxy coating on the surface. These two shoots are rising very quickly. Each of them, look at that's about five feet high. This is about three feet high. And they're speeding up, they're powering up this zone, this portion of the tree. And we could remove these at any time. We might let them go for a couple more months and then clip them off. And then this wound will completely close. So it's a process by which we are allowing the tree to completely heal by allowing it stages of cambium deposition and wound closure episodes. And so this is the stage that we see it at right now. We see the rapid advance, the rapid change, the rapid closure of this wound as a result of retaining and nurturing these root crown shoots.